In this video, we're going to look at applying materials in a SketchUp model. Before I do that, I for sure want to look up some reference to discover what kind of kitchen I want to create. So right now, I'm really just looking for some sort of gray cabinets because I know that's what the client wants. And I'm going to make a new board here and call it Contemporary Kitchen with my class name. Okay, so I'm looking at different types of gray cabinets to start out. I like those countertops and I like the backsplash there, so I'm going to save that one. This is a really nice one. I really like a lot of the materials they have going on here. Okay, once I save the stuff that I want, I'm going to click on my name again. And I should be able to find my board that I just created towards the bottom. And again, I kept that board secret, so only I can see it right now. This is what I created, so I want to start to narrow down what I've pulled out. And once I've done that, I'm going to go back into SketchUp. And I need to change it to Construction Documentation Style. And I'm going to try and find some materials that match what I was looking for on Pinterest. I've already got some materials in here from what I downloaded. So I have the refrigerator and the stove and the sink. But let's look for something for the countertop. So I'm thinking it's a marble countertop, in particular white marble. But I'm going to type in marble as a broad search and see what comes up. I didn't quite find what I needed, so I'm going to search for white marble specifically. And I'm really just looking for a nice slab. So here's a set of tables. I can experiment with some of those other different colors of marble, but maybe that's not the best. Okay, so here's a nice slab. I think this will work. So I'm going to download this into my model. And I'm going to start to create a kind of materials board in my SketchUp model to the side of my kitchen. So I'm going to look again. So I'm thinking like a gray wood floor, or some sort of rustic floor might work for this kitchen. I didn't find anything good for gray wood floors, so I need to be less specific. So I'm going to just search wood floors and see what comes up. There's some here that might work, but I, I really don't like the texture on that. It looks kind of pixelated, so I'm going to pass over that. Okay, this is the tone that I'm looking for. It looks like there might be a collection here, so I'm going to click on that. And I can't really do anything with that, so I'm just going to download the single plank. Okay, that's not quite enough texture information for me to create a floor out of it. So now I've got to look again. So I'm going to try rustic this time, see what comes up. Nothing really good. Okay, I like this one because it looks like the floor is modeled. And there's a texture on each plank. So this is actually really good. Even though it's not the right color, I can change that in SketchUp later. Yeah, that texture is really nice. It's got nice density to it. So I can work with that later and get it to be the right color. So fast forward a little bit, I've got the materials that I'm thinking about using in the model here as a materials board. Now I need to get these materials to be the right color. I like the wood that I have to the right. Now I'm going to adjust the texture that's on these planks and see if I can make that more of a grayish color. 
So when I did that, I went to edit. And you can move the color wheel there to be more towards the center. You still want to keep some sort of tone in it. You can tell it's got a little bit of beige in it still. And it looks like it matches the other texture pretty well. So I'm happy with that. Next thing is this tile right here. So this is a Toledo tile and it looks kind of green. So I want that to be more beige or more gray. So I'm going to edit that. And when you start to do this and you're working with neutrals, it can be really challenging because really fine movements of the mouse can affect the color. Yeah, that's looking pretty neutral. A little bit of beige, I think that's good. Okay, this one looks like it's too beige. It's too yellowed, so I'm going to try and make this more neutral. Okay, so I can see there's some saturated color in this texture. I'm going to keep trying to move the color wheel around to see if I can make it look more natural. But it's looking kind of gross green and all kinds of odd colors. So it's not really working, so I'm going to reset that. And you can see when I make it neutral, it's got that purple in it still. So what I need to do is I need to edit this texture in Photoshop. So I'm going to save this out and I'm going to work on that in a little bit. Okay, so maybe this subway tile, we want a grayish color or maybe it's got a little bit of a, a tone to it, maybe a green or a blue. So I'm going to experiment with this texture for a little bit. And I made it unique because if I didn't, it was going to affect the other panel. So I wanted the side-by-side -side comparison to see. And I'm not sure about the color, but for sure I definitely want to see what this will look like if it's a gray subway tile in my kitchen. So I'm going to make that texture. And I think a little bit of yellow is okay because most lights are yellow, so it looks natural. You want to stay away from greens or purples and blues, things like that. I'm back in Photoshop now, and I've opened up that texture previously. So really all I need to do is make a new layer, adjustment layer, and pull down the saturation. And then save it back out. By default, it's a PSD. You want to make sure that you save it out as a JPEG. You can load in Photoshop files into SketchUp, but because they're large files, it can really tank your 3D file and make it uh, load slowly. That looks a lot better to me. Looks neutral. So let's start applying some of these materials to our model. So I really like the marble countertop, and that texture works perfectly. There's lots of variation in there, that's great. I'm liking the herringbone pattern, but maybe it's a little bit busy. The Toledo tile looks really great. I like how that works with the marble. Okay, subway tile. It's not oriented the right direction, but gives me the idea. I think it's a little bit plain, so I'm going to stay away from it. This might be too busy. I like it, but it's too busy. So I'm going to go back to the Toledo tile. And I'm going to get my floor in here now and see what that looks like. These chairs are probably want to be like a charcoal gray color.
And my cabinets, I want to be a contemporary sleek cabinet that's kind of a mid tone to dark gray. Can start to see this come together. I think it's working pretty well now. And I'm going to use my wood texture for the floor and apply it to the door and the shelves over here, give it a little bit more natural wood color. So eventually, I want to make the inside of some of these cabinet doors glass, but I might want to download a texture for that, like a seated glass or a textured. Or frosted glass so I'm not ready to do that yet but I'm thinking about it uh, what about some paint on the wall this is some beige color I don't really like that right now so I'm gonna look for a light gray color see how that looks I think that's working the materials on my table so it's got a chrome leg and a pewter base and a glass top and the base is still base of the glass is still white so you need to flip that over and make that glass uh, these stools I might be able to bring in some color with these so let's see if what this looks like with red stools And I'm not thrilled with the hardware showing through, so I think it's time to change that, raise that seat up. I think this is working pretty well, so this is probably good enough to show to the client at this point and get some feedback. 